And this weekend, San Francisco Pride Parade and Celebration is happening. It's the first time since 2019 in person. So we have live team coverage this morning with everything that you need to know. So we're going to start with First Alert Meteorologist Jessica Birch. Oh, actually, we're not going to start with her, but I'm going to just introduce her because she's here Hello, to talk about the weather Happy Friday. For this <laughs> Gianna is also Hi. here to help you get to your parade routes. But first, we want to start with Jocelyn Moran live from where Sunday's Pride Parade will start at Market and Bill. And Jocelyn, a lot of excitement ahead, including for many businesses out there. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we just had a parade on Monday for the Warriors. So another few exciting days for the city of San Francisco, especially, you know, given the pandemic. This is the first time the parade is back since the pandemic began. So definitely a boost for businesses in the area. But let's talk a little bit about the parade route and give you an idea of what you can expect. That is going to start on Sunday at 1030 a.m. It starts at Market and Beale Street, closest to the Embarcadero Station, and it will end at Market and 8th Street, closest to the Civic Center Station. Public transit, including BART, got a good look at busy ridership on Monday, and BART says expected to be heavy this weekend as well. So we're going to have extra trains that will be available and we'll use those as needed. We've got five line service on Sundays for the first time because we started that in February. And so we'll have more trains than we've ever had for Pride Parade. Yeah, so be ready for all of that. Bart also says they will have more staff too. And SFPD is expected to talk a little bit more this morning as far as safety when it comes to Pride celebrations. But again, a lot of things that are on people's mind right now is just getting to all of these celebrations happening this weekend. So Gianna, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, Jocelyn, I hope everyone's planning ahead because there are going to be a lot of people in San Francisco this weekend. So if you are headed out to Pride, especially on Sunday for the parade, expect busy conditions and expect a lot of people to be on public transit, but that's your best option, guys. Embarcadero to Civic Center, if you're taking a bar to any station in between there, we'll get you there pretty easily since the route is along Market Street. They are recommending that you go to Embarcadero if you're actually marching in the parade and then use Powell, Montgomery, Civic Center. Otherwise, if you're just standing along the sides there and kind of watching all the festivities, make sure that Clipper card is handy. Either have it or have it on your phone. Muni Metro Subway, also a great option. They will also have that 3045 Soma shuttle between Caltrain and the Mission. That will also help out getting around the area and hopefully it will be a beautiful weekend. So Jessica, how is it looking for Pride on Sunday? Oh, finally, after all this heat, I can say it, it is going to be a beautiful weekend for us as we head into Pride events and festivities. The Pride Parade on Sunday alone, we're expecting as it kicks off for the temperatures to be sitting in the low to mid 70s, turning into upper, excuse me, low to mid 60s, turning into upper 60s as we head throughout the event. So let's take it a step back though. Daytime highs today also very stunning starting off with the beautiful sunrise this morning official sunrise has already happened however let's take a look at what we can expect for our microclimates across the board so for our friends down in san jose we are still above average but it's a lot more calm than how we started off this week when originally it was about 25 degrees above average now san francisco we have that marine layer that fog rolling its way in as i speak and that'll continue to be the trend for us as we head into the afternoon it'll pull back in the evening hours but temperatures are still left in the 60s near San Francisco, 80s all the way up closer to San Rafael and 90s up in our East Inland Hills. We'll have more on that coming up in the full forecast, but for now, back to you. Jessica, thanks. Looks good. Come join us for our live Pride special this Sunday starting at 10 a.m. on KPIX and CBS News Bay Area.